So Katie, what did we do in this collaboration? Well, we saw Frozen 2. And we did our last radio show in this vlog. Good afternoon. Today is our very last broadcasting of Cosby's Got on the radio show. I'm very upset, but we're finishing it because it's the last of the year and you know, winter's coming up, so we don't want to travel to the studio in the snow. But celebrate, we're gonna go and see Frozen 2. Before I go to Frozen 2, I need to figure out where am I? This is not my house. It's my flat. Ah! Wait, why am I here? Because you want to check out my room before I move. <gasps> why? <laughs> you know, it's part of growing up. You gotta move at some point. <laughs> Katie's been my neighbor for like a year, mm -hmm. just like across the road, and yeah, I'm no. gonna miss her. Mm -hmm. It's been great being neighbors. Yeah. Like well, the ups and downs. We come and see each other, play games, and. It's so easy just to get together and travel to the radio station. I know. Now it's going to be a little more difficult. Mm -hmm. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out in the new year. Alright. But I'm, I, lo I love your room. Thank you. I love your room. Like, I, I'm always like, talking to you in the living room, but I love your room. Like, it's just, just, just so much artwork here. Yeah. Not of hers, like from cons. No, no, from other people from cons and stuff. Yeah. Let's just show you a little bit before she has to tidy up the room. Yeah, because I'm packing tomorrow. <laughs> This is why I'm here. Tidy up the room! Yeah, because I'm packing tomorrow. <laughs> this is why I'm here. Yeah. Before we leave for our radio show. Yeah. Now, Katie, out of all these artworks, which one is your favorite? Well, I have to say it is this one right here, which is um, Shiro from Voltron Legend Defender. This was actually done by a friend of mine called Lisa. And I absolutely love the way she coloured this. It's so colourful. Yeah, it's so pretty. It's meant to be, obviously, because the whole point is Voltron takes place in space and that. So he's just looking out at the stars. I could pick any of them, but they're all anime, so I don't know that much well, about anime. I know, but but well, I wait. like this. Which one? The Spider-Man. Oh, this Oh, and Deadpool. That's Deadpool. I never realised that. Yeah, well, actually, it's a crossover between, um, like, well, again, this is an art piece by my friend Lisa. Mm-hmm. Um, what she did was it's a crossover between Voltron and Spider-Man and Deadpool. So that's Lance as Deadpool and Keith as Spider-Man. And now we're on our way to catch the bus to the radio station. Yay. You hate the bus, don't you? Yes, but don't you? Uh, yes, I hate the bus, but I'm going to miss it when I'm going with you. I know. Next time I go to the bus, I'm going to be alone going to the radio station. I know, it's going to be so weird, isn't it? Yes, let's enjoy our time. On our last show together. Yes, we will. But before we start the show, what are you waiting for? It's our last radio show, Cosplay Scotland. So, what are we talking about? We're talking about Frozen 2. Doctor Who. We're talking about the Lion King Broadway show. We are Comic Con. And so much more to do with maybe toys. Because it's our Christmas show. After our radio show, we're going to go and see a movie. Are we seeing Star Wars? No! Jumanji 2? No! We are seeing Frozen. So, let the journey continue into the unknown. Which the Stranger Things cast may sneak into in this movie, Stranger Things. Well, the TV show Stranger Things, actually. Well, yes, of course. But anyways, now it is time for our last game of... I don't care. I ship it. I All right. So, for those of you who don't know the rules of the game... What me and Debs have are four characters on a sheet of paper. It could be any character from a TV show to a movie to a game. Any character that could make a cute couple. Yes. So mm. I'll start off. Who do you get first? I have Dustin from Stranger Things. I have Sherlock. That'll be some partnership. I think, like, even if we aged up Dustin, I think Sherlock would get annoyed with him. Hmm. So no? Yeah. I mean, they're both intelligent people. But in different ways. So no. So no. Alright. Well, funny enough, I actually had Dustin from Stranger Things as well <laughs> on there. But only a second. Okay. Well, I have Harry for Dustin. Harry from Harry Potter? Hmm. Mm. I could see Dustin being a wizard. Yeah. What house do you think he'd be in? Hmm, that's a good question. I didn't want to know. Hmm. Mm. We'll have to look that up. Yeah. I'm putting it in as a ship. Yeah, I think that'd be interesting. So we can just look it up what Dustin's house group would be. Well, I mean, we don't... They, it's more of theories, nobody really knows. Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw. Maybe Ravenclaw since he's quite intelligent. Hmm. Next but one. I have Hannah Montana. I have Tinkerbell. Mm. The next Lily. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Hmm. I mean, she's a singer. She's a fairy. 
Mm-hmm. All she can do is help up with like her music stuff. Like, here, you pick this up. Hey, you fix this. Hey, you fix my mic. So more of a friendship? Yeah. Than a relationship? Yeah. Yeah. No. All right. And... My last one is Hiccup. I have the Grinch. <laughs> Does the Grinch stole Christmas from the village where Hiccup lives in How to Train Your Dragon? Probably, but <laughs> no, nah, I don't think they would work, do you think? Oh, I know what we should talk about later on. What? The, the Christmas special that's coming for How to Train Your Dragon. Oh, yeah. We'll have to talk about it later. But yeah, but no, I wouldn't say. Well, if anybody likes the shippets that we made, go and check out our Twitter. The Land of Cosplayers to see if you would ship Dustin with Sherlock, Harry Potter with Dustin, Tinkerbell with Hannah Montana, and Hiccup with the Grinch. We'll see, but tell us on our Twitter at the Land of Cosplayers. Now, after we ship it, we have to play a love song. This will be our last love song after ship it, rip it, until next year. So we picked the most popular Christmas song that's going out everywhere, and a love song from Leona Lewis. One more. Song. Yeah, we did. So- Oh. Anyways. Oh look, Katie switched chairs. Uh, so we can take over the desk. Oh great, that was There is Ain't No Place for Heroes from Borderlands. The game. And before that was Doctor Who, as we talked about Doctor Who. Yes. But mm-hmm. now it is time for, for Phantom, Phantom Trash. Trash. Alright, even though we still have Wales Con, it's actually Deb's it, me and Debs actually will not be going to any other con until next year. No, we finished our Comic Con, so... Hmm, what is our favourite Comic Con of the year? In Band and Trash! Yes. So, Katie, what is your favourite con of the year? Well, mine is MCM Scotland. But to be fair, it usually is every year. Because every I always, year. Yeah, because I always have really good fun there. And it was obviously the first con I ever actually went to back in 2013. So it's kind of got a special place in my heart. What was your... Who did you... Sorry, who did you cosplay as? Well, on the Saturday, I was a villain Deku covered in fake blood. And what was the thing that popped at you that made MCM this year for you? Well, I haven't finished telling you what my la- what my Sunday cosplay was. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> and on Sunday, I was Resave from Persona 4. I forgot MCM Scotland was two days, not three days. It needs to be three days. I know, it really should. Like, yeah, Lon- London does. I know. Um, but yeah, and what popped out for me, I think it's just because, um, obviously, it's always bigger... Um, there's so many things to do. So many stalls. stalls guests and... Cosmic Masquerade. They are all that. It's just always been really fun to me. Nothing popped out? No. Just Just really big and bigger than any other con? Pretty much. Well, a bigger con that I've been to. <laughs> um, but yeah, but I mean, again, for me, it's just that MCM is just a, it's a special con to me. My favourite con of the year was Edinburgh Comic Con. Oh. I went alone until I found three people on the, bus, on the train that I never met before. Mm-hmm. I just knew one was in cosplay. I was just like, I'll follow you. I got there, met some other cosplayers that I recognised, Neil and Shannon, who were cos- cosplaying from a podcast that I can't remember what it was called. Mm-hmm. And then I met up with some other cosplayers from a Scottish YouTube meetup. We did a cosplay challenge to help me with the starting out like cosplay meetup. So I want to yeah. start that up. And we had fun. I was cosplaying as Hannah Montana. Yes. I need to try that again, but first I have to get some better trousers. <laughs> but anyways. So, something just happened. <laughs> the summoners, the Glasgow bar that do cosplay karaoke, were watching us on our Instagram live stream during our radio show. Yeah. That shocks me! I know, I was like, I saw it and was like, wait, I like, I had to double take because I was like, wait, I'm reading that, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, we're just need to fix everything and get ready to go to see Frozen 2. Yes, and also Debs needs to bleep my hair. Oh yeah, I've got that. I need <laughs> to get my wig on. So, all fun. All fun and games. Right, move so I can get us out of this radio station. <laughs> That's us finish our radio show. What are we going to do now? Uh, we're going to go see Frozen 2. Yeah! I'll put Katie's hair. Me, yeah, as you can see. And I'm going to put my Frozen Elsa wig on soon once we get to Audient, but yeah. we need to get some popcorn first. Yeah, we need to. Well, yeah, we need to get some food. What is your theory on Frozen? Don't have any, to be honest. Well, I think the first song we're going to hear is "Some Things Never Change." Although I hope what the answer is, how does Elsa have powers? We did not just do a photo shoot in Brayhead Escape. Yeah, no, of course we didn't. <laughs> no, we didn't. I didn't just as Elsa. No, you're just putting a random blonde wig on. Yeah, why not? <laughs> 
but yeah, we did do a little photo shoot for 10 minutes. Yeah. No kids came towards us, we didn't get distracted. We just did a few photos of me and Elsa. Yeah, you'll probably see them on either your Instagram or Facebook. Or a Christmas card! <laughs> we made it home! Woo! After seeing Frozen 2 and doing a radio show, our very last radio show with a Christmas special. Yes. So what do you think to Frozen 2? It was amazing, go see it. Katie cried. You cried too, shut up. I didn't cry, I didn't cry. I was- You were holding I my hand. I was laughing at Kristoff's song. Yes, it's an interesting one. I'm not gonna say anything because spoilers. So it, many but... memes for that. Yes, and references and all that. I see you right there. And we're not even at the top yet. There we go. Say hi, hi everybody. We're at the top. Oh, I put us on the middle. No, we're not. Wee. We're right at the top. Lovely. Glasgow. This is my third part of the pop. That's okay. You've not lost another one. Thank you. Ed, I got you a special present. Look inside and see who it is. Oh, oh that is so cool. I made it myself. Oh, thank You're you. welcome. Oh. You're welcome. Thank you. Just don't lose it. Right, we're gonna wrap up this vlog because it's getting very, very cold. And I know, I'm gonna try and order pizza. And I know I'm going blurry, but I want to wrap this up because I want my food too. Right. Right, so guys, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, uh -huh. and subscribe to this channel and the Wild King here and the Land of Cosplayers. Yes. Even though this is going very dark. Yes, but anyways, bye guys. So remember, guys, it's the memories that make us. We're going to make some good memories and not some bad memories. Stay cosplay positive.